I'm so glad to represent our team to present our work, and it's kind of regret that my students who hold because of the visa he is unable to come. So, uh, <clears throat> my name is uh, Yan Fang Ye, and you can also call me Fanny. And thanks for the introduction from Jennifer. I'm an, an assistant professor at the Land Department of Computer Science and Electronic Engineering at West Virginia University. Before I joining WVU, I have been working in industry for over six years, and uh, intelligent malware detection using data mining and machine learning techniques is one of my research, uh, one of my major research. Um, Smartphones has been widely used in people's daily life, such as uh, social networking, online shopping, and entertainment. And uh, because of the uh, mobility and ever-expanding capabilities, there are more and more smartphone users over the world. And Joy, as an open source and customizable operation, uh, operating system, is currently dominates the smartphone market. And enjoy not only attract the developers to produce legitimate applications, but also uh, attackers, attackers to disseminate malware. Uh, you can download the Enjoy apps from the Google Play or the third-party par third markets such as op Opera or Wandoja. A uh, majority of the time, you can download the apps which are benign, but with bad luck, you probably download uh, the apps which are malicious and. Uh, According to Symantec uh, of the recent report, one in every five downloaded apps are malicious. And uh, if your smartphone been infected by malware, it may steal money from your online banking account, or it may send an SMS message without your concern. And uh, at worst case, it may push adver uh, advertisement or download unwanted apps to your smartphone. And if you you are with the bad luck, you may your if your smartphone been infected by ransomware, uh, you may need to pay the ransom to unlock your smartphone or prevent the private information being leaked. To protect the legitimate users uh, uh, against the attacks from uh, Android malware, the major defense is a mobile security product which widely use. Uh, signature base for detection. However, attackers can uh, use the techniques such as obfuscation or repacking to evade the detection. Therefore, it calls for more uh, powerful and effective method to protect the user against the malware attack. Enjoy is a more resilient system that help protect smartphone users against the malware attack and normal threats. So this is the uh, system architecture of our uh, developed system. For any collected apps, either benign or malicious, it will be first unzipped and decompiled, and then the small code will be generated. Small is an ensemble, uh, disassembler for the DEX file, which includes uh, app's code. After we generate the small file, the API calls will be further extracted, and we also further analyze the, rela the relationship among them. And uh, after our feature extraction, there will be two kinds of entities, and four kinds of relationship uh, will be extracted. And to depict such complex relationship, but with higher uh, semantic information, we first introduce heterogeneous information network HIN, to uh, represent such kind of complex relationship. And then a meta pass based approach will be uh, used to link the apps. And uh, it will be defined by the commuting matrix uh, to aggregate uh, the similarity over users. And to combine different kinds of similarities, we propose uh, multi-kernel learning to build a classification model so that any future collected unknown apps will be predicted as either benign or malicious. And I will introduce the uh, proposed method in much more detail. So uh, like this example, uh, it's a ransomware. And after uh, mean unzip and also decompile, we will extract the API calls from the small code. And then you can see here is the example that the API calls can be extracted from the converted small code. And APIs are commonly used by the Android app to assess the system functionalities and also the resource. 
So it can be used to represent the behaviors of the Android apps. And beyond that, we further analyze the relationship among them. Uh, the, the first kind of relationship we analyze is that whether these extracted API calls belong to the same package. For example, like this API calls, if they are if they belong to the same package, HTTP, that means they may be related to the internet connection. And uh, like another example, if this API call is extracted from the uh, AI, IO file, that means they may be related to the operation of rewrite files. And in this way, um, to represent such kind of uh, relationship, we generate API package matrix P, where each element denotes if a pair of API calls are with the same package name. And we also further analyze whether the API calls belong to the same code block. Here, we define a code block as the code between a pair of dot method and uh, dot and methods. And in this way, you can see that for the previous uh, mentioned examples, uh, these three API calls together in a method of load lives in the small file indicate that this reason where intends to write malicious code into a system kernel. And to represent such kind of relationship, uh, similarly, we generate the API code block matrix B, uh, where each element denotes if a pair of API calls belong to the same code block. And furthermore, we also further analyze whether the API calls use the same kind of invoke method. Uh, this just like uh, the words have the same part of speech. And if the API calls use the same kind of invoke method, they may imply implicit but important information for the malware classification and detection. And to represent such kind of relationship, we generate the API invoke method matrix I, where each element denotes if a pair of API calls use the same kind of invoke method. And in this way, four matrix will be generated, and uh, which include two kind of uh, entities and four kind of relationship to depict such kind of complex relationship or introduce HIN, heterogeneous information network, uh, to uh, for, for the feature representation because it's. Uh, capable to be composed of different types of entities and relations. And it has been used for many domains, such as scientific publication network analysis. And here is an illustration of a hint. For example, like the, uh, the apps, Facebook include different kinds of APIs, API 1, API 3, and API 5. And Snapchat include the API calls API 2, API 3, API 4. And you can see that actually API 1 and 2, uh, they may coexist in uh, the code block in other many apps, such as uh, Pokemon. And then you can also see that API 3 and API 4 may belong to the same package, or API 6 and 7, they use the same kind of invoke method. And to link the apps uh, based on the HIN framework, we introduce uh, the meta-based meta method to link the app. For example, like the second pass, which indicates that uh, Facebook and Snapchat are linked, like they include, they both, uh, they Facebook includes API 1, and then Snapchat contains API 2. But API 1 and API 2 belong to the same code block. And uh, based on this kind of meta path, the commuting matrix will be used to denote uh, such kind of meta path. In this way, uh, the meta path denoted by the commuting matrix can be considered as a kernel. And to aggregate different kinds of similarities, we propose multi-kernel learning uh, framework. We uh, use p-norm multi-kernel learning framework in our application to generate or to build a classification model so that future uh, collected unknown apps can be predicted either uh, after the feature uh, instruction, it can be predicted as either benign or malicious. And I will, uh, this is the, like, the main process of our proposed method. And based on the proposed method, we develop our system called HIN. And then uh, we further demonstrate or verify the, proposed, uh, the, the, the effectiveness of our proposed method based on two obtained data set. The first data set we obtained uh, from the Komodo Cloud Security Center include the daily collected applications, which contains uh, 1,830 
uh, statistic training Android apps, and also 500 testing samples. Uh, about two, uh, 200 of them are benign, and 300 of them are malicious. The first sample set will be used in uh, the first to third experiment. And then uh, the second data set includes a large number of the samples, which has uh, about uh, 30,000 Android apps and will be used in the fourth experiment. And we use these mirrors to uh, compare different kinds of uh, detection methods. And in the first data set, sorry, in the first set of the experiment, we uh, test, we uh, evaluate the performance of our proposed method. And you can see that for different method paths, they may have, uh, they, they may perform different in enjoy malware detection. Some perf do perform well in enjoy malware detection, like uh, the path one, path two, and path six. Some may not, and the real may be the semantics behind these method paths uh, do not reflect the uh, problem of Android malware detection where. Uh, however, we also further combine this method pass by, f by first using the um, labelizing score ranking, and you can see that uh, we select the top five and also use off name uh, for the uh, learning, and then the labelizing score will be used as the weight for each method pass. And uh, you can see that compared with the individual method paths after combination, the detection performance improve. And compared with such unsupervised uh, meta path selection method, you can see that the proposed multi kernel learning uh, further improve the detection performance in Android malware detection. And from the correlation between the uh, beta K, that means the weight of the kernel general generated by the multi-kernel learning algorithm or the framework. You can see that through this framework, um, the bad ones which uh, do not perform that well in Android malware detection could be automatically filled out while they, they can keep the good ones in Android malware detection. And we also further evaluate the, uh, the parameter sensitivities in our experiment. And in the second set of the experiment, we further uh, uh, compared Hinjoy with other alternative uh, detection methods. And based on two feature sets, the first feature set just only use the API calls as the original input. And the second feature set, we simply put all the hint related entities and relations as the feature to fed each models. And from the experimental result, we can see that Hinjoy uh, compared with other baseline methods can significantly improve the detection performance. In particular, you can see the number of false positive and the number of the false negative negative significantly reduce. And um, we also conduct a t-test, uh, and from the result, we can see that the, the detection performance can be fully demonstrated. And uh, the more expressive representation of Hinjoy make it uh, reduce the work of feature engineering and significantly improve the Android malware detection performance. And in the third set of the experiment, we further compare Hinjoy with other some popular commercial mobile security products, such as Lookout uh, Clean Master, based on our collected uh, testing data set. And you can see that Hinjoy outperform the uh, uh, compared mobile security product, and the success of Hinjoy may lie in its novel higher level semantic feature representation, as well as the multi kernel learning base of the constructed HIN in feature engineering. And uh, furthermore, Hinjoy also performed well in the detection efficiency. And in the last set of the experiment, we uh, further demonstrate the effectiveness of Hinjoy based on a larger and real sample collection, which includes 30 uh, southern Android apps uh, from the daily sample collection of uh, Komodo Cloud Security Center. And, you, uh, and we can see that it achieved an in impressive high average uh, true positive rate and a low false positive rate while leveling the new collected uh, Android apps. And we also further evaluate the uh, scalability of Enjoy as well as the, uh, we also compare the performance when the training data size vary. 
So uh, because of all this merit, it makes Hinjoy a practical solution in real industry, and it has been successfully incorporated into the scanning tool of Komodo Mobile Security Product. And please allow me to briefly summarize our work uh, at the end. And uh, actually compare with the existing methods, uh, we follow analyze, after the API call extraction, we follow analyze the relationship uh, between them and uh, introduce HIN to depict such complex relationship. And uh, a meta path based approach is used to link the apps. And HIN has been uh, successfully applied in multiple domains, but this is the first time being used in Android malware detection. Uh, in sum, uh, we use uh, such kind of feature representation to depict uh, uh, Android apps and uh, that makes it more difficult and costly to be evaded. And uh, beyond that, HIN is the first time being used for Android mail detection. In this paper, we propose a multi kernel learning to learn from data to determine the importance of different meta paths. This is a very nature way to handle HIN based minorities, but to our uh, best knowledge is a first attempt. And uh, because of all this merit, it, ha it has been successfully deployed in real industry. And, uh, Please also allow me to thank the support from Komodo, NSF, and WVU Research. And uh, in particular, we, I would like to thank my team, my student, Shi Fu Ho, my collaborator, uh, Yang Chiu Song from HKUST, and also Mali, the CEO from Komodo. And I also thank very much for the recognition of our work, uh, KDD 2017, including the committee's reviewers and also the chairs. And um, I also look forward uh, to the to the collaborations with the researchers and industry partners in data science and cybersecurity to make this world better. And if you are interested in uh, our work, please feel free to contact with me, and we still have the uh, appreciation opening for the PhD students. And thank you so very much. And if you have any question, uh, please feel free to communicate. Thank you. <laughs>